already we have drawn yesterday figure so what was that so we have considered a plane mirror we have named it xy on this mirror plane wave front is made incident so the rays are incident rays are parallel to each other so maybe one ray we are considering this one another ray we are considering this one okay So this was the plane wave front in here. Now it is moving. So when this ray had strike, this we have considered point A. The ray P A had strike point A. The ray Q B is still in here. During the time in which this B will strike the mirror at point C, during that time A will spread light or will return the energy into same medium. As whatever speed is here, same will be the speed for this one also. So if this B C we have taken. If light takes t second to reach from B to C, so this B C was C into t. So when this has striked, A has spread light in the sphere of radius how much? C into t. So this C we have taken here. Okay, T K we have taken yesterday. So this is C A only. So during the time in which B has ray has strike point C, A become the source of secondary wave, and it has spread light into the sphere of radius C A into T. That means both the distance are same. This one and radius will be same. So whatever this distance, taking this one as radius. We will draw one circle. So this was the circle. <coughs> you have to do, but with the help of compass, that will be better. So whatever distance is BC, take that much distance in the compass and draw one circle. That means when the light has just struck point C, it has become the source. Just become the source of secondary wave. After that, it will start emitting also. But just now, it has become the source. During that time, A has spread light into this sphere. So, position of wave front at t equal to t at t equal to zero, the position of wave front is A B. Then, at t equal to t, position of wave front will be the common tangent. Of this sphere and this sphere. This sphere means the sphere of zero radius. That is point. So we will draw a tangent from point C on this sphere. So if we draw a tangent, So this is the tangent suppose. This is fair, may go that side also, no problem. But wherever you are getting, if it is exact 50 degree, the tangent will also touch at the same point B only. 
Now, the tangent has touched this square at point B. As we know, the ray is perpendicular to wave front. So, this is the wave front, CD. So, what will be the ray? If we join A and B, this will be our reflected ray. Okay. okay. Here we have done yesterday. Yes, anyone having any confusion? Anything to ask? Till here? Was there any confusion? How we got the position of wave front? The same concept we will use while using verification of Snell's law also. Same concept we will use. Or if you are interested, same concept will be used in case of lens, mirror, plane mirror or spherical mirror, but that is not in our syllabus, so we will not discuss in class. But using same concept, we can draw the wave front. Or we can know why convex lens is converging the beam, why concave lens is diverging the beam. These all experimental phenomena can be explained on the basis of this Huygens principle and the same concept we use. Okay, so here, this is our incident ray, this is reflected ray. And we have drawn the normal. Suppose this is M and this is N. <coughs> so this is angle of incidence I. M, A, D will be angle of reflection. We have to prove that angle of incidence and angle of reflection both are same. Here. Incident ray is this much. This is angle of incidence, and this will be the angle of reflection parallel to this. Okay. So, okay. So, okay. We have to prove this. This I and R are equal. Now this BC and AD, both are same. This BC and AD are equal, that is CA into P. But this one radius, AD is the radius. We have drawn by taking this one same distance. As the speed applied in air, the medium is same. Now, to verify this, I equal to R, we will consider see this angle MAC is equal to angle PAB. Is it so? Angle MAC. How much? Angle MAC is how much? 90. 90 degrees. Angle yes. And angle PAB, how much? So 90 only. That is 90. This is ray and this is wave front. AB is wave front and this is the ray. So this will be 90 degree. We have also drawn like this. Ray was this one and this is the wave front. So this is 90 degree only. <clears throat> so this is 90 degree. Now in this one, which is common? Angle M, A, B is common in both. So MAC can be written MAB plus angle BAC. <laughs> so 
So this M A C we have written M A B plus B A C. And this side we have written P A M plus M A B. Here. Yeah. So this M A B is common in both sides. So what we got? This angle B A C equal to P A M, which is I. So this angle B A C is I. Yes. Any confusion? No. Now we will consider triangle in triangle B A C. In triangle B A C, this is also ninety degree. So for this angle, means this triangle, this is hypotenuse. This is angle I. So we are finding sine I suppose. B C over A C. BC is C A into P. Yes, over. So this is our equation number one. Now we come from this side. Angle N C A. <coughs> C N is perpendicular to the mirror, so N C A will be ninety degree. And this is the ray. This is the wave front. No, wave front is which one? D C so E C D this is reflected ray and wave front is this one C D so it is perpendicular to C D this one no reflected ray and this is the wave front so it is E C D Now, which angle is common here in both? N C D is common. Means one part is N C D only. So, in place of N C A, we can write angle N C D plus angle D C A. Angle ECN plus angle NCD. In angle, this one. Thank you. 
So what will be this NCD and CD cancer? What we are getting now? So angle BCA equal to angle BCN. This is our BCA. So this angle is R. Now, similarly, we will find sin R in triangle ABC. This sin R is how much? Here again, this angle is 90 degree. So D is AD over AC. Now this AD is again same. PA into P. So this is our equation number two. So from first and second, what we are getting? Sine I is equal to sine R. That means this I is equal to R. which is law of reflection. So first we prove this I is equal to this angle. Similarly, from that side we prove this R is equal to this angle. And then we got sin I and sin R as these two are same. So we got I is equal to R. Yes, anyone having any confusion? Yes. This is important for board exam only. In competitive exam, nothing is asked based on this chapter. But board exam, it is very important. Frequently, it is asked. Yes. Salviram? Yes, sir. Now, verification of laws of refraction, especially Snell's law is
सो वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन और स्नेल्स लॉ वट एवर इट इज आस जनरली स्नेल्स लॉ समाइम रिटर्न इन द क्वेश्चन पेपर समाइम विल बी आर वेरीफाई द लॉज ऑफ रिफ्रैक्शन So in this case, what is happening? The ray is going into some other medium. <coughs> so in place of mirror, we will consider a boundary. So suppose this is the boundary. X one that separates two medium. This is medium one. And this is medium two. Refractive index of this medium is mu one. This medium is mu two. Speed of light in this medium is c1, and the speed of light in this medium is c2. So that we have to write like that. Let us consider. The boundary x y separates. Two medium, first and second, the medium one is having absolute refractive index mu one, and that medium two absolute refractive index mu two hot. The refractive index of the two medium is mu one and mu two respectively. <coughs> the speed of light in two medium is c one and c two respectively. Now, in the same way, we will draw the plane wave front. So let a plane wave front be incident on this one. This point was P. This point was A. This point we have taken Q. This point we have taken B. So above this parallel beam is the beam is parallel. So the wave front will be plane wave front. The same concept will be there. When the ray has P A has struck the point A of the boundary, ray Q B is still in air. What will happen now? When the ray this one advances, let me suppose it is come, it has come this far, this plane. This one will spread light into this medium. Besides further advances, it will spread light into this radius. Further little more. So 
so during the time in which qb has described the boundary at point c a will spread light into a sphere of what radius what will be the radius if it describes after time t then what will be the radius <clears throat> so this you have to explain everything here whatever you have written when the ray pa has described the boundary qb is still in air and when this qb strikes the medium c sorry medium boundary at c after time t during that time a will spread light into sphere of c2 into t radius because here the speed is different and the media pa strikes the boundary the ray qb is still in air and when QB strikes the boundary. At point C, after time T, A B. light in second medium in a sphere of radius c2 into t or better we can say hemisphere also no problem Going only half a sphere will be there. In previous one also, we can write hemisphere in place of a sphere, no problem. So here time interval will be t, but this distance will be different. So here radius we have to take c two into t. Now C two into T will be more than this B C or less than B C. That will depend on what? The diffractive index. On what index. it will depend? Diffractive yes. index. Diffractive then index of the medium. Then we are going from which medium? Rarer to denser or denser to rarer? No. If R is going from rarer to denser. C two will be less than C one. If you are saying, no, I will consider denser to rarer. Naturally, you have to draw. You have to take the radius which is more than this. That depend on you. You can take any one. <clears throat> so what you are considering that we have to write here only itself. If you are saying. Mu one is less than mu two. What will be then? So we have considered this one. Okay, if or let this one that you can add here only. Let this one will be. So now you have to draw in the same way as we have drawn the previous one. 
so you have if you have taken it is going from rarer to denser so whatever radius is this suppose this is it is coming 20 cm you want okay i will consider air to glass then what will be or it, this is your 12 cm then you have to take radius 8 cm nearly 1.5 means we have not to write but it is you can consider that way also so as we have considered less speed is less here so we will draw the sphere of smaller radius okay maybe like this you can draw you are free you can draw any length any radius because we are not going the speed is not given so this radius of this one will be c2 into t so what will be the position of wave front after time t the common tangent because it has just arrived here so it has become the sphere radius source of just become the source of secondary wavelet so here zero sphere and here this is the spread light is in this one so here also you have to use the compass in order to understand in better way so we will draw again the common tangent so position of the wave front so according to hagen's principle Position of wave front at t equal to t will be the common tangent. That is tangent drawn. so we'll draw the common tangent so we will draw the common tangent this from c you will draw one tangent on this sphere okay so it may be what will be you can draw yourself so it is coming nearly this point so we are trying so this is the point d at 
is CB. Will be the position of wave front. So this AD will be the refracted ray. So this AD and CE are the refracted ray. Now in the same way, we will draw normal from point A. We are drawing normal, okay? Maybe this side also, and this side also we are taking. So this is angle of incidence. This is angle of refraction. This is my original ray. This is the deviation. As we have considered, it is coming from rarer to denser, so it is bending towards normal. So here also, this is angle of refraction. <coughs> this is angle of incidence. And we have used the same symbol as the previous one. So word by word, it will come same. Whatever we have written there, same thing we have to do here again. So which were the two angles where which we have considered? The previous one we have considered. What was that? M A C and P A B. P A B. So here also the same thing we'll write. Since this angle M A C is equal to angle P A B, which is 90 degree. Here also M A C that is perpendicular. This is the ray and this is the front. So that angle is also 90 degree. Which angle is common in both? Okay. MAB. So, in place of MAC, we are writing angle MAB plus angle BAC. In place of PAB, we are writing angle PAM plus angle MAB. MAB, MAB cancel. So we are getting this. So therefore, what will be this angle BAC? will be equal to angle PAM, that is I. So this BAC we got I. Now, same way in triangle, what we have considered? ABC. This angle is again 90 degree. So sin I is BC over AC.
so b c c1 and 2t and you have taken it strikes the boundary after time t so b c will be c1 into t there also you have to mention somewhere or before this you can write that one only so this b c will be c1 into t and this a d will be c2 into t This is by AC. Now this is by equation number one. Similarly, from this side will come. What we have considered. Again, this angle N C A. Or you can write similarly. No problem. N C A is equal to E C D. C D is the front, and C is the rear. <coughs> Now <clears throat> this angle is common in both MCD. So in place of NCA, we will write angle NCD plus angle DCA ECD. In place of E C D, we are writing E C N plus N C D. This is also ninety degree. This N C D cancel. So what you got? Angle B C A equal to angle E C N equal to R. So this B C A we got R. So in same way, consider triangle. In triangle, which one you have considered? This one, previous one. ABC. ABC or ACD, whatever you say. In triangle ABC, this is again right degree. So sine R is AD over AC. Now this AD is C2 into T over AC. <clears throat> now what will be if we divide? 
first by second. Question one by question two. We are getting sine i over sine r is c1 by c2 so this one is mu2 by mu1 refractive index of 2 with respect to 1 which is snell's law mu1 is C0 over C1, mu2 is C0 over C2. That relation we already got when we started. Ray optics. Yes, any confusion? Anyone having any doubt? No, sir. No. No, sir. Okay. No, sir. If you are having any doubt, then who will have doubt? So, this way, or in this chapter, we have to study this much only. This chapter numerical is not asked. So no numerical in this chapter. Yes, anyone having anything to ask? Any numerical problem which you have done in the previous chapter? Yes. <coughs> 